Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Progress, welcome back to Triple Threes Tarot. My name's MC, Triple Three, Psychic, Tarot Card Reader, Musician, and Author here. We're going to be tapping into the collective energy for you guys, my Virgos. Shout out to all my Virgos here. We have a big, big, big audience when it comes to Virgos here on the channel. So shout out to all you guys. You guys help the channel grow tremendously. Yeah, Sage up. Sage up. We wake up, wake up. Finally, you're lost in gratitude. Cause you know I'm never late. I'll just be in the room, divinely protected. We never looking down. It's young MC, I triple C. You know we got the young rolling with the angels and we riding. That's the exclusive Virgo stuff to do in the works right now that I'm going to be presenting to you guys shortly. Shortly, shortly, shortly. But um, y'all yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you hit the notification bell, subscribe, and never miss those those little exclusive gems. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get offering to you guys. Super valuable. Anyways, let's get into it here, Virgo. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, you guys get your reading on Hump Day, midweek, Mercury Day, things of that nature. We got that magician energy coming out straight off the top, which we like, which we like to see. Great omen. Start off your reading. A lot of individuality here, Virgo. A lot of focus on yourself. A lot of focus on yourself and your resources here. What you got going on. And that's what's helping you move forward here. Your resources, your skill sets. Those, that's what you're tapping into. To kind of allow you to propel forward here and create a sense of foundation, right? Here are the Three of Swords. Showing up as well. So I do see some separation or just some heartfelt conversations here with a love connection. You could have you could have undergone undergone some separation from a love connection. As I say that, we have the lover's card popping out right here for you guys. And then the magician, we have virtue. So you're tapping into your resources based upon virtuous actions, knowing what um and how to take action on your creativity and how to utilize your voice as well. Through creativity, through creative actions, want to be more of an individual, maybe utilize and speak up for yourself and who you are here through creativity. Um, the night of this, you being able to move forward and take action on some sort of practicality and foundation here, I think is 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 you were privy to make you were privy to make the choice to do so. So there was a choice that you were privy to 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 take action on. Whether this was a love or relationship scenario or a business scenario, a uh, scenario, I'm not too sure, but you have to apply it in your area, your own area of your life. Um, and be intuitive as you see these cards pop up. So the choice was here to embark and move forward and take action in a practical sense on a love connection or a business opportunity, right? And for some of you guys, you could have made the action to move forward and actually create some sort of stability around this love connection. Maybe you went from single to relationship. Maybe you went from relationship to married. Maybe you went from living alone to living together, things of that nature, and creating a little bit more stability and structure around um what you got going for, going on for yourself here, right? So I was gonna pull that card, but we we're, we're, we're not we didn't we didn't we didn't split. So um, let's check out. Let's clarify this three of swords for you here. You made the choice to do so, and you are taking action now, which is one thing. And and the actions you're taking are in alignment to this virtue. So for some of you guys, you could have relocated, or this has something to do with relocation here, Virgo, um, or travel. There was a choice to, it could have been a choice to go within based upon traveling with like a, some sort of family that happened, some sort of relocation. This is in the past. So is there some sort of relocation that was, um, that you embarked on with some family and it kind of showed you and taught you how to be more self-reliant and self-resilient. Um, so I think you kind of moved the move, made the choice to move forward towards more practical uh, endeavors more, you know, more of a solid foundation towards what you need to be around or what you or who you communicate to as family here, right? Based upon the actions that you're taking. There may be heartfelt conversations that you are having, not with you, but like business partners or relationships, but with family. Seven of Swords at the bottom of that, too. So they didn't like your idea about something. Virgo. Some some someone in some some family member I feel like didn't like the idea of how you do something, how you take action in some way, shape, or form. So I'm hearing that's that's why I think that separation is here. 
they didn't like your ideas of something here and there was a lot of maybe tit for tat or argumental type of energy where things are just being spoken you know a lot of words going back and forth we have we have libra energy uh air energy libra aquarius gemini and then we have the nine of wands and and then the hangman right under it so the hangman right under it lets me know that this you definitely shifted your perspective based upon what you've seen be said or spoken from um, a family friend or relationship here family member friend or relationship and that taught you a lot and that was probably that probably happened that pro that could have happened um based upon some travel here virgo because we see the nine of wands we see the nine of wands we see the Knight of Wands right above the Hangman. So I think this travel opportunity could have brought you um, a, a really strong perspective shift here regarding this um, family connection. I think there was like whether there was a lot of virtue or respect towards you in some way, shape, or form. But you, the perspective shift happened for a reason. Like this happened for, for a reason, right? So there may be certain things... Yeah, see, it happened for a reason, judgment. It's judgment time. It had to happen now or never, you know? It was like, it was like now or never type of stuff. And it, it, it's, bringing, it's bringing forth a powerful transformation in who you are and your personal identity here. But it's going to allow you to take action a little bit more virtuous and not to be like these people who maybe you know, don't like the way you don't like the idea of you, of who you are and, and why you do certain how why and how you do certain things. See we have the we have the judgment card. We have the judgment card coming out there. Three major arcana. It's a judgment card, the sun, which means it had to happen for a reason. Light was shown on this situation necessarily. Um there could be some kids involved in some way, shape or form to where you're you know that's your happy place, maybe towards some kids. And we have Virgo energy, Hermit, which you're going back within. This is your energy here, Virgo. And then we have the uh, higher front at the bottom of the deck as well, Taurus energy. You could have some Earth energy. Um, you could have some Taurus energy in your chart here, Virgo. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, etc. cetera. This per some person, place, or thing could be a Taurus who you're separating from having these conversations with, etc. cetera. Um, but we have Judgment here, Libra energy. It's happening now. It's all happening now to, to shine light. And, and to allow light to be shone on this area of your life so that you can apply more wisdom and re meaning and reasoning towards these areas of your life. And if, and create your own, I'm hearing create your own, your own type of family archetype. And um, if you're not respected and if there's no harmony within the home and or the family archetypes here. Because I feel like the judgment is like the judgment is letting me know that you are this is some you are being called to make this choices now, like make certain choices now. This had to happen right now to show you true colors behind certain people. But follow your own guidance here, be your own inner guide and and make the decision you know is necessary. Because if you're not respected and these conversations are happening, if words are being thrown back and forth because they don't like the idea of you, then you don't need to be around them. <clears throat> and that's where the separation energy comes from here. But this is all happening to show you, like I said, to pick what opportunities and relationships are meant for you and to understand which are, which are not. This is Scorpio energy, Seven of Cups, aka Seven of Hearts. It's picking the right opportunities that are meant for you and, that are, and, and picking the ones that aren't meant for you. And you have the jack of hearts. So you have you're hitting the jackpot and all the opportunities that come to you are go right now. So this happened for a reason. This this is happening in your life for to lead you to a specific path. And it's it's to lead to another opportunity and understand and to fully inner and overstand your your love appreciations and values. And um could be leading you to, to be a little bit more respectful to how to how you uphold to how you hold yourself to regard with your relationships and um, hitting the jackpot on the relationship relationship that you want here. There could be a relationship coming into you, coming in for you, which is why this is happening. So you kind of learn through the ups and downs, the best ways to hold yourself. So it's like you're very prepared on what, what, what you receive, what comes in. 
if that's something right for you to choose, you know, what, where this will lead you, where that opportunity will lead you, where that connection will lead you, et cetera. And this, and, and this is all happening for you to apply a little bit more meaning and reasoning towards that area of your life and understand where things will lead you based upon what you're receiving. And when you go within, that's what that hermit energy is right there. So you have a lot of major arcane energy, a scorpion at the bottom of this deck with the queen of pentacles here. This is understanding, knowing what you receive, understanding how to create a foundation around the opportunities that you receive. So everything is interconnected right now. And I love this for you here, Lord. We have a powerful, 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 strong week ahead. And I hope you guys tap into this reading. This is crazy. Hit the jackpot here. You hit the jackpot here, Virgo. Great reading. Um, as always, I'm watching from afar. I'm reading for you if you guys like extensive. First link on the channel tagged. Just hit the channel and you should be able to see it. If not, in the description below, the description box below. So thank you. Beacons.ai, B E A C O N S dot A I slash M C 333. Hit that search button, get directed. Book with me today. Free consultations available if you want to walk through how this is done and how my, how my services work. Anyways, thank you as always. MC Triple Three, we out of this book. Keep it going, I never lag And I'm in my spaceship and you know I never lag I can bring my trailer to you